and God has probably given me a word and maybe this word will benefit somebody in high authority so that you can look out, you can alert. God says get the, America should get on alert. Israel should get on alert. Yes, God. Israel should be on alert. America should be on alert. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I hear you. And I see the relationship. Like I see America, praise God, feeling a sense of conviction. As I told you several months ago, and she's going to feel a sense of, I need to go and help Israel. And I see that happening very quickly. Like very, very quickly, like bam, right in front of me. Because now America's realizing that God's hands is with Israel. So she is going to have to repent of her fornication and go back and help Israel or stand with Israel. So I see the armed forces of America standing with Israel in this for some reason. Praise God. But the Lord said, tell America, do not play the harlot. Do not play the harlot. Do not play the harlot. If you're going to stand with Israel, stand with Israel. And stay standing with Israel now and forever. Because anyone that blessed Israel, God bless them. He said, pay for the priests of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The word of the Lord to America concerning Israel is stand with Israel. Stand with Israel in prayer. Stand with Israel. Praise God in the armed forces of Israel. Stand with Israel. This is what I hear the Spirit of God saying. As he brought me through that encounter, we started several days ago, up to tonight, last night. He said, look and see what the enemy is planning. The water began to move. When I look, plopping from out of the water were little burrows that looked like ants colonies. And it was undetected by that country, by this country, because they were smaller than other submarine vessels. And those vessels, only to my shock and surprise, were not ants colonies. They were not fire ants colonies. These vessels were an enemy to that. To, to, listen to me carefully. A country, a people that is an enemy to Israel and also an enemy to America. Yeah. I want to say it is Russia. I want to say it is China. Praise God. I want to say it. I don't know how to say it except to say it that it could be Russia and China that they are planning an invasion but while the world is thinking they're coming by the air only because I saw the vision of the of the space of the white planes with blue writing on it that I could not read and I knew right then that it was something to do with China and Russia but while people are expecting them to just come by air Remember on October 7th, when, praise God, Hamas attacked Israel, they came by air, land, and sea. They came out. Air, land, and sea. They came by air, land, and sea. Why did they come like this? Hallelujah. They came because they wanted to put Israel, they wanted to catch them totally off guard. So, it is now an intensification going on. They are not sleeping in those nations. They don't have time for nothing. While we are preparing for an election, those nations are preparing for war. That's what I heard the Spirit of God say. An invasion of war. Outright war America against America. And Israel and America. Israel and America. Why should we pray for Israel? Because when they are finished, thinking that they have defeated Israel. They're coming to try their hands at America. But I saw them, praise God, coming. Praise God, coming. Coming by water in smaller vessels that look like submarines. And they look like submarines, but they're little tankers. They're tankers because when the submarine reached the land, it now puts on wheels 
and it's able to move and their weapons all emerge. Even the soldiers came out with their weapons drawn, ready to fight. I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus.